Hey, this is Marek of Indie Traveler reviewing the Tropic Feel Shell, which is a backpack that many of you on my blog have asked me about, probably because Tropic Feel has been making quite a splash lately. They've had several Kickstarters, they've done honestly a lot of very effective marketing, so they're all over the place. And their basic idea is that their specialization is travel gear that is multifunctional. They started with sneakers that you can take into the city, but you can take into the water as well. The idea being that this is the one pair of travel shoes that you need to pack. They're doing a similar thing with clothing at the moment, and they've got the Tropic Feel Shell backpack, which is a three-in-one backpack. The idea being that its design is modular and you can use it for different kinds of trips. You can use it as a day pack. Uh, you can use it as an everyday pack at home if you want to. And when you've got a trip coming up, you can expand the shell with additional modules and get it ready for your trip. And even on your trip, when you're carrying your clothing and other main travel items, you can take those out easily and then reconfigure the shell so that it's ready to use as a day pack for your sightseeing. So that's a very cool idea. And when you first unbox the Tropic Feel shell, you may think, huh, this backpack seems a little small, but of course, that's the whole idea. There's a smaller, small-ish basic module and there are various ways to expand it. Okay, there are three ways to expand the Tropic Fuel shell. The first way is quite simple. This top flap is actually quite flexible. There's a lot of space here. So normally when you have it as a date pack, it will be a bit slanted like this. But if you pack a lot in it, it's certainly possible to have it all the way kind of like this. So this will add quite a bit of volume. Then let's talk about the kangaroo thingy here, this little pouch, this little hammock. Uh, this is totally optional. So this is normally inside and you can take this out and use this to store, for example, uh, shoes or a sleeping bag or something else that's bulky. One thing to know though is that this space doesn't close with a zipper. So whatever you put in here, it's gonna be in the open air just a little bit. But still, this is a very cool feature and one that I've not seen on any other backpacks before. Thirdly, there are four attachment points here where you can attach a pouch. So right now I've got the toiletries bag attached. There is also kind of an electronics or, or accessories pouch. You can choose which one you wanna put on it. At first I thought, wait, what are they doing here? Like, they're putting a detachable element on the outside. Isn't that really theft sensitive? Can someone just come in and steal this? And when I used this in practice, I was a little bit more reassured because as I can demonstrate, like, you're not gonna take this off so easily uh, unless <laughs> you know how to. There are two little straps at the, at the uh, back here and if you pull those, it does come off really easily. There are little magnets here, so it clicks back into place very easily. Um, so I suppose it's not 100% watertight, theft-proof, which makes me think that it's actually the toiletry bag that fits best here. It makes sense for two reasons. Firstly, I once actually had an accident with my other backpack when I had my toiletries in the main compartment and one of my shampoo bottles wasn't closed correctly and I got my backpack out of the bus and when I opened the backpack I saw that everything was just drenched in shampoo. That wasn't fun. <laughs> so it's nice to kind of keep your liquids a bit more compartmentalized and on the outside. That's actually a big advantage. The other thing that kind of makes sense of course is you can detach this toiletry bag and take it to the restroom. It's kind of that's kind of functional, and I think that makes sense. Having an accessories bag here or electronics here, that I'm really not sure about. I think that's still a bit uh, theft sensitive and a bit in a strange location. So if you go for this, I say go for the toiletries bag. Moving on to the back panel and the harness. Now, as I mentioned, this is a hybrid backpack, a three-in-one. It's meant to be a backpack that does a little bit of everything 
And so inevitably there are a few compromises here. Uh, this is the kind of harness you would often find on a date pack and it's not going to be quite up to that level compared to you know a backpack that's a 55 liter and it's meant for big trips only. Of course there are going to be some differences. Anyway what you're going to get is two straps that are pretty good, they're pretty well padded. Um, the waist strap is there but it is very thin uh, so it helps a little bit but if you really like thick waist straps then you're out of luck here. Uh, however, there are load lifter straps which are very important for making sure the shoulder straps are really on your shoulder. And finally there is a sternum strap which is fully adjustable. Now that I really love, especially if you're not of average height. I'm 1 meter 94 so what I often find is that the sternum strap is not really on my sternum. Here I can adjust it exactly and that's very important for, again, distributing the weight away from your shoulders and onto your, the rest of your body. So that will make it a lot more comfortable. The final thing I should mention here, these um, back panels are really nice. They're very soft, kind of bouncy, I guess kind of like a memory foam mattress. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very soft and very good. Let's take a quick look at what's inside. Now there are two ways to access it. One way is from the top and the other way is with the zipper all the way around. And I really like that. That gives you a lot of uh, instant access to all your stuff. So inside is a big compartment that you can use however you want. There are also two zipped compartments here, which is very nice. Uh, other backpacks, for example, the uh, popular Osprey 4.40 don't have zip compartments inside, so it's nice that that is here. And finally, there is a laptop compartment, and that laptop compartment is a little bit raised so that you don't have to worry about putting your backpack down and maybe hitting your laptop. That's not going to happen. So uh, whatever electronics you put in here, they're going to be safe and secure. All right, that's the inside. Uh, one more thing here that we need to talk about is the integrated wardrobe. The wardrobe is an essential element of the Tropic Feel Shell. It features heavily in the marketing and I think it's what gets a lot of people excited about this backpack. And I'm a little bit of two minds about it, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'm a bit skeptical because I already have my own way of packing and this is a, kind of a, introduces a different way that maybe I'm resistant to or, I mean, the other argument is the wardrobe kind of adds weight and bulk to the backpack that maybe is not so necessary. Uh, then again, I mean, I'll let you decide on this, but here, here it is. This is the wardrobe. This comes as an element that fits exactly inside the backpack. There are these two kind of chunky, thick shelves um, with shelves between them where you can put your clothing and here there's little small spaces there you can uh, put some rolled up t-shirts or maybe some socks. Um, there are some compression straps on the side that you can pull so that this whole sandwich kind of compresses a little bit and the theory is uh, that will give you a bit more packing space actually besides being a convenient way to kind of organize your stuff. And I think that's pretty clever. I have to admit some thought really went into this. But I still am not sure if I would take it on every trip. Then again, I went on a backpacking trip a while ago and I stayed in dorms again uh, for the first time in a long while and I was reminded what a huge mess dorms can be. Uh, there may be like lockers that people can use but people don't put everything in there, it's not so easy to access. So what tends to happen with dorms is there's stuff everywhere and actually on this particular trip I lost a few items because I put them in the windowsill and I forgot all about them. And in this kind of scenario having these shelves is actually really wonderful and if I had the Tropic Feel shell with me and had used the shelves probably I wouldn't have lost those items. Plus, it would have been pretty convenient to hook the um, shelves onto like a dorm bed or a bunk bed. If you stay in hostels a lot or you know, you're more of an adventure traveler, then I think the wardrobe may be more useful 
to you. If you only stay in hotels, then it doesn't make as much sense because you already got a wardrobe, it's built right into your room, right? So, um, okay, that that's just a couple of things to keep in mind. Of course, it doesn't matter so much because you can always decide whether to bring the wardrobe on a trip or not. Okay, before I get to my conclusion, let me mention there's some links in the description below. One goes to my written review that I always keep up to date and the other goes to the store where you can buy this backpack. This is not a sponsored review, but that link is an affiliate link. So if you decide to buy it anyway and you use that link, it helps out the channel a little bit. All right, the Tropic Feel Shell is basically trying to be the one backpack that does it all. And in that, it broadly succeeds. It can be a day pack. It can be an everyday pack. You can use it for different kinds of trips. So it is extremely versatile, maybe the most versatile backpack that I've reviewed. Uh, now, I wouldn't say it's like a shark. It's not a specialized product. It's not, it's not the predator that does one thing. It is more like a puffer fish. Maybe you've seen one of those while scuba diving. They are small at first, but when you get close to them, they, they can blow themselves up and they are actually a much bigger than they appear. That's how I think of the Tropic Fuel Shell. When I first unboxed it, I thought it's a little bit on the small side maybe, but then I started adding all the modules to it and it's clear how much bigger the Tropic Fuel Shell can be than its default configuration. Now, would I personally use this as my main backpack? I'm not 100% sure of that and I take the reviewer hat off here for a second and speak only about my situation. I already have a stack of backpacks here from reviewing so many backpacks that if I need a trekking backpack just for a trekking trip, I've got that. If I want the best day pack, I've got the best day pack. These kind of specialized backpacks will be better in some ways. Uh, for instance, a trekking backpack can have a much more padded harness with a thicker waist strap and all that kind of thing. Uh, but of course, that's not what we're talking about here. The Tropic Fuel Shell is meant to be super versatile. So if you're not in my situation, but you're thinking of getting a backpack and you want one that you could use year round, kind of makes the investment a lot better as well, right? You, you don't just use, use this for one trip, you use it for everything. Then the Tropic Fuel Shell makes a lot of sense. Ah, I should mention the wardrobe. I really like the concept of it. And when I first saw the videos of how you use it, I was like, yes, this is great. In practice, I'm like, ah, that's pretty cool. I, I think I'm still someone who prefers to use packing cubes. But for some trips, I can also see myself using the, uh, the wardrobe. It's kind of a personal thing. And, you know, depending on how you feel, you may or may not want to take it on, on uh, specific trips. All right. So... I kind of think of this as a Swiss army knife kind of backpack. Uh, it may not be as good in certain areas as specialized backpacks. That's just something to keep in mind, but it does everything pretty damn well across the board. So that's kind of how I think about it. Um, if you have any questions, you can drop a comment below and I'll see if I can answer it. And with that, let me say happy travels and see you in the next video.